Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. My name is Nancy Foote. Today's video, which is the next in our Math and Minute series, Algebra 1, is how to find the distance between two points. So you're in math, they give you the coordinates for two points, and they ask you to find the distance. So how far apart are they? Well, basically what we do, if we know the coordinates of the points, we use Pythagorean Theorem. And the reason we do is because, as you can see right here, it's very easy to draw a right triangle. And if we can figure out this distance and this distance and square both of them, add them together and take the square root, we'll find that distance. Do you remember a squared plus b squared equals c squared? I'm sure you do. And that's a, a fundamental part of the distance formula. So let's get started. They're going to tell you a line segment has endpoints negative 4, negative 3, and negative 7, 1. And then your teacher probably told you it's x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Take the square root of the whole thing. And that's true. That's exactly what we're going to do. But let's put it in a format that's easy to see and simple to, to manipulate. So we're going to take our first point, negative 4 and negative 3, and we're just going to set them next to each other just like that. We're going to leave the parentheses off. We're going to leave the comma out. We're just going to set the numbers next to each other. We're going to do the same thing with the second set of numbers, negative 7, 1. We're going to put the x's under the x's and the y's under the y's. And we're going to make a big line like we're going to do a big addition problem because we are going to do a big problem. We're going to subtract. When you do this, a couple of things. It doesn't matter which set of numbers goes first. It, has, it makes no difference. But what's very important is that you always follow this explicitly. So we're going to say top number minus bottom number. So top number minus bottom number. You see how that became negative minus negative 7? Minus negative 7 is the same thing as adding 7. And if you're going to make a mistake on this, this is where it's going to be right here. So keep in mind, it's top number minus bottom number. So negative 4 plus 7 is 3. We're going to set that aside for a minute. We're going to come right back to it. Same thing on this side. Top number minus bottom number. Negative 3 minus 1. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So far, so good? OK. We're going to square this number. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. And add them together. Give you a little more room here. And we're going to add them together. So 9 plus 16 is 25. And now we're going to take the square root of 25. And that's going to tell us the distance. Now, distance is always a positive number. You know, square root could be plus or minus. But distance is always a positive number, so the answer is positive 5. Let's do another one. Let's do, let me find one here. 2, 16, 2, 16, and 10, 1. We're going to set them up just like we did before, 2, 16, and 10, 1. Draw our line. Top number minus bottom number, so 2 minus 10. 2 minus 10 is negative 8. Top number minus bottom number, 16 minus 1. 16 minus 1 is 15. Next, I'm going to square it. Negative 8 times negative 8 is 64. And 15 times 15 is 225. Again, remember, if you don't know your squares, your square numbers, please make sure you spend some time and learn them. Up to 15, it's really going to help you a lot. Now, if we add these together, 64 plus 225, we get 289. And if we take the square root of 289, you'll see it's a nice, even number. Now, let me show you a couple things. When you take the square root of a number, if you have a calculator like this, you can simply press square root, put 289 in, and it'll tell you the answer is 17. But another way to do it is to put in your 289 and then raise your, raise your uh, number to the 1 half power. When you raise something to the 1 half power to the 0.5 power, what you're doing is you're taking a square root. So those are that's a little hack that might make things easier for you with your calculator. Either way, it ends up with a distance of 17. So there's your distance. 
let's do one more problem. As I said, these really aren't very difficult once you put them in order, once you get them organized so that it makes sense to you. Let's do negative 1, negative 3, and 11, negative 12. Negative 1, negative 3, 11, negative 12. Top number minus bottom number. Negative 1 minus 11 is negative 12. Negative 3 minus negative 12. Top number minus bottom number becomes negative 3 plus 12, which is 9. Negative 12 squared, 144. 9 squared, 81. If you add those together, you get 225. And because you know your square numbers, I know that you know the square root of that is 15. So the distance is 15. Now I want you to hold that in your head for a minute because we're going to do it again. We're going to do it the opposite way. We're going to put 11, negative 12, and negative 1, negative 3. And I'm going to show you that the answer is going to come out to be 15 just like it did the other way. So it doesn't matter which set of numbers you put on the top. 11 minus negative 1 is the same thing as 11 plus 1, which is 12. Negative 12 minus negative 3 is the same thing as negative 12 plus 3, so it's negative 9. So here's where it becomes different. You notice the signs are totally different from here, but when you square it, 12 times 12 is 144, just like negative 12 times negative 12 is. 9 times 9 is 81. Negative 9 times negative 9 is 81. Add them together, we're still going to get 225. Take the square root of 225, and you're still going to get 15. So that's how easy it is to find the distance between two points, given two points. If you have any questions, please leave me a message or send me an email. Have a great day.